Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gungi Province this week. With the April 28th opening of the 2021 Korea Basic Income Fair approaching, its virtual reality 3D exhibition hall has already opened online for advanced viewing. Event schedules and exhibition hall contents can be accessed easily via the event website. This year's fair, which includes both online and offline events, will run for three days until April 30th at the Korea International Exhibition Center in Goyang City. The International Basic Income Conference, featuring 68 Korean and international participants, will run concurrently. Gyeonggi Province plans to introduce cultural tour sign language guide services for tourists with hearing impairments. To this end, the province will operate a three-month sign language course for 30 applicants who will work as cultural tour guides in the province. These new services will help visitors with hearing impairments better understand and appreciate cultural heritage sites through the provision of customized sign language services. On April 2nd, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung and Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission of Korea President Jun yun hee signed a cooperation agreement for the protection of a fair society and public interests. This initiative is part of the province's efforts to establish a system to prevent public officials from violating public trust through actions such as speculative real estate investments. After signing the agreement, Governor Lee offered assurances that the provincial government will do its utmost to create a society in which fair rules prevail without corruption or privilege abuse. Gyeonggi Province is operating online business consultation events for SMEs in healthcare fields so as to help them enter international markets through connections with overseas buyers. The province is providing active assistance that is customized for each consultation process, including product catalog translation, interpreter services, and assistance in trade document preparation. Initially targeting Asian markets, consultations will be expanded to include Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and China through a total of six events so as to help more than 250 enterprises find export markets. During the spring, when fires are more frequent, the Gyeonggi Province Fire Services will undertake extensive fire prevention efforts. These efforts include intensive fire equipment inspections and fire safety education at more than 600 glamping and camping sites, as well as inspections of fire safety self-management at publicly used facilities, including cinemas, shopping malls, and accommodations. In addition, residential greenhouses small accommodation facilities, and other low-cost facilities will also be subject to fire safety management, including on-site fire safety guidance and inspections. In Gyeonggi Province, a policy forum fair is being held featuring public forums on policy-related issues with participants from all walks of life. During the forum on pet insurance promotion and welfare support, issues regarding pet welfare improvement and homeless animals were discussed. The province plans to organize more public forums on diverse individual subjects pertaining to resident life, including the improvement of regional transportation, the realization of carbon neutrality targets, and the introduction of a public management system for apartments. From this month, Gyeonggi Province will provide diaper cost support to individuals who suffer from serious disabilities caused by brain lesions. Support to cover monthly diaper costs will be provided to 1,600 such individuals in the province between the ages of 2 and 64 who have to use diapers. Geared to alleviate the economic burdens borne by these individuals, applications for this support can be made at local public offices. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.